Hello everyone, my name is Ping Chen Ye. You can also call me Benson. I'm a double E professor from National Taiwan University, also known as NTU. I'm also the director of NTU MOOC. Today, I'm very excited because I want to introduce to you a very cool system that we just finished building and launched last week. It's called Pagemo. Pagemo is the world's first ever multi-student social game platform ever built for MOOC courses. So as you can see here, you can see the Pagemo link at the col left column here. Just click on it and the system will bring us to the Pagemo platform. The purpose of this game is for each user to occupy as much land as possible. So take my land for example. If I want to occupy this empty land, I just click on it and then I click on the occupy. And you will see that the system will then automatically send a probability problem for me to solve. If I solve it correctly, then I get to occupy that land. Okay, let me quit here. In addition to occupy the empty land, there's another design that each player can occupy your neighboring player's land. Let's take this area for example. As you can see, the yellow player kept attacking on the orange player and now the orange player only have two pieces of land left but don't worry about this orange player being frustrated once he or she got exterminated because for all exterminated players we will let them reborn on some other area along with other players who have been uh, exterminated before so they will play much uh, happily there with along with the other people in a much peaceful area, okay? In addition to the offense, we also have game design for the defense part. Let's say if you don't want your neighboring players to attack on your land, what you can do? You can do something, okay? As you can see, once you get uh, a big territory, your land will start to generate fortune, uh, the money for you, okay? You can have much, a lot of money here. Okay, what you can do with that money, you can go to the store and you can buy some monster. We have three levels, three different levels of monster here. Let's say if I buy this level two monster. Once I buy the monster, what can I do? I can deploy the monster at the boundary of my territory. Okay, oh, so how does this help you in defense? Well, you see, if somebody want to attack this land, the system will assign a problem for him to solve from the land. In addition to that, the monster will also, you can see that we already have one monster here. This monster will generate another problem for your neighboring player to solve. So your neighboring player has to finish solving two problems correctly before he or she can occupy this land. And let's say if you deploy two monsters here, you can see here, then your neighboring player have to finish solving three problems. One from the land and two from these level three monsters. And the level of the monster, monsters represent the difficulty level of the problems. If you buy a much more expensive level three monsters, the level three monster will generate a much harder problem for, for your neighboring player to solve compared to a level one monster. Okay, so you can Use your money to buy more monster to deploy it on the boundary of your territory to avoid your neighboring players to attack on you. Okay, this is another interesting feature of our game. And next, let me introduce to you the personal information uh, area. If you click on here, you can see the personal information area. And here you get to see your information, your Coursera ID, your money and the number of territory and the number of problem set that you successfully solve. And the most important thing is here, the ranking part. We will have two different ranking. One is the ranking uh, about the number of questions solved by this user. And you can see that this is your current ranking and these are the top 10 players of the game. So finally, I would like to introduce our arena feature. If you are a student who really like to battle with other students, you can go to the arena and you can compete 
with several students together, the system will assign multiple problems for you guys to solve. And the person who gets to solve these problems in the shortest time, you are the winner among all players in the arena and you get extra award for winning the battle. So that is our Pokemon system. It's really a lot of fun on this system. And that's why our students get addicted to solving problems. As you can see, this Pokemon system is designed for our general courses. So any courses with enough number of problem sets and correct answer, you just input them to the system and you get to transform your course into a game right away. So it's very efficient and very easy for you to make your course into a game. And here I would especially like to thank uh, there, are, there are 12 double E and computer science students from National Taiwan University who closely work with me to build this system. They just like me. We have very strong desire to change the way that people learn in the world. And that's why those 12 students and, and me, we spend so much time, so much effort into building this platform. And I really want to thank them. Jiang Shenwen, Shen Dajun, Chen Yanling, Chen Yanjun, Xu Zixiang, Zhu Bocheng, Zhang Yaolin, Yu Langqi, Xia Ziyang, Tang Weixian, Li Jialin, Lin Guanyun, and my very good friend Cai Yichen, who helped me guide this, helped me guiding those students. And we believe Pokemon is going to introduce the next paradigm shift for online learning.